Hi there, I'm Peter Odens from the Sydney office of MapTech, I'm the Workbench product manager, and I'm going to give you a very quick run through what the Workbench is about. There is a detailed webinar presentation which goes through some detail with a demo, but right now we just want to talk about what the Workbench is. Up until version 10 of Vulkan, it was the interface that Envisage ran within, and that was part of Envisage. So for version 10, we've actually decoupled that. It's two separate products now. And that allows us to actually eventually have different MapTech products within the same user interface. To fire it up, you get a new icon, which basically replaces all the individual product icons you might have on your desktop. So if we crank that one open, you'll see that we come to the start page. And it's coupled fairly tightly with Vulkan in the first release. So you're looking at you know various uh, parts of Vulkan, ISIS, Rapid Pit, etc. The tools that are you know indirectly related to the application. Any other installed MapTech packages I've got here, such as you know Evolution or Eureka with its versions, and also if you want to, you can have a look at some information about our other products you may be interested in. Once we've se selected a data source, obviously you can you can customize this front page. There's MapTech News there as well. You'll see we go into Envisage, and we've gone to a lot of trouble to make it familiar enough that users will be able to use it basically straight away. But the um, way it's written is totally separate. It's a true client-server architecture. So the windowing system has been enhanced a lot, so if we have different applications fired up, and I just won't put one here, say like uh, ISIS, you can see that they're in a totally separate graphics window. The whole application can be flicked around up here. And I can detach a graphics window and, and it comes with its own icon, so it can be set on a totally separate monitor and used totally independently with two different screens. And if I want to put it away again, just plonk it back home. It is truly multi-language, so you can come in here and pick a region and you'll notice that all the menus change and also this goes right down through to the layer names, the triangulation names, that kind of thing on whatever you put on your plot files. So it's truly multi-region and multi-language now, where it previously wasn't. We've also enhanced the, what's uh, we introduced, sorry, a workflow tool, so you can actually make your own workflows very simply, which can guide you through simple or more complicated uh, Vulkan or ISIS or both workflows to get you know new users can be guided very simply through the process. The Explorer has been upgraded so a lot of nice new tools like filtering where I can type in and everything matches to say can be loaded up very quickly so it's very easy to find the files you're after. There's things like changes so we have like an audit trail if I change the you know a color or a layer name or something like that I'll have a little audit trail of what I've done here. We've also introduced plugins, a true plugin. So the grey control here, although it looks like part of Envisage, it's actually totally separate. And that means we can enhance grey control, we can change it without risking the quality assurance of Envisage itself. And we want to do that more and more initially for plugins to Envisage, but also for entire different products. So eventually you'll be able to have Studio, Blast Logic, whatever you like, in the same interface. You won't even know you're in a different product. You'll just be using it, getting the functionality you want, cross-product workflows, uh, common data sources, that kind of thing is all the part of the bigger picture. But in the short term, you've got a nice new, brand new interface of version 10. You've got all the new Vulkan uh, capabilities, quite apart from the workbench itself. And we can uh, upgrade the interface as we go along because, it, again, it is separate to Vulkan itself as well. So for the users, you're going to have new interface, new tools, and down the track, much, much more integrated software solutions from MapTech. Okay, thanks for your time.